Hey guys, it's Lauren here. Thanks so much for joining me and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to be walking you through one of the biggest mistakes that I see people make when they're trying to get their manifestation and it's gonna be completely shocking, guys. So stick around to the end because I'm gonna to explain to you not only what it is, but exactly the one quick fix that you can do to actually turn it around for you. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about techniques. At this point, you're probably saying like, what do you mean techniques? Techniques is how we get our manifestation, not what's hindering our manifestation. And I can completely understand why you think that. Normally, it should be that way. Techniques help you get that which you're trying to achieve. But for most of the people who are coming from a very high attachment to that which they desire, so a very high attachment to trying to get that outcome, techniques could be actually working to the opposite uh, of what you want to achieve. So let me explain that to you guys. Techniques do not bring about the manifestation. What ends up manifesting in your world is very simple. It's your thoughts, your beliefs, your assumptions, and your feelings are kind of like the driving force behind all of those things that allows them to manifest, okay? Because your feelings and your thoughts kind of go together. We'll get more into that on another video. So basically, if those are the things that manifest, then what is the point of the techniques? Well, the technique helps you get into a certain state. It helps you believe in the outcome that you're trying to achieve. But actually, you can achieve that outcome without visualization. I manifest all the time without using visualization, without even scripting, really just by thinking, by changing my beliefs, by reprogramming my subconscious mind, you're able to change your world that way as well. So if we actually know that, the question lies, then what's the point of the techniques? Techniques like the 55 times five method, the two cup method, the uh, visualization scripting, whichever technique it is that you're using, the point of them is to get you in that good feeling state, okay? So if your technique is not helping you get in that good feeling state, it's not helping you build your faith in your manifestation, then actually the technique is working to the opposite of what you're trying to achieve. So I see so many of my clients when they first come to me, they're very stressed. They don't know if um, they're doing it right. They're wondering why their manifestation hasn't shown up. So they just think that they need to keep visualizing, keep visualizing, keep uh, writing, keep scripting, keep affirming. And um, that couldn't be further from the truth. The most important thing is getting your vibration right. It's getting yourself into an alignment where you feel good and confident about that which you're trying to manifest. So ask yourself, this is the best way I can help you guys to um, know whether your techniques are helping you or hindering you. You wanna ask yourself, is this technique actually making me feel good when I do it or is it bringing me more stress? So before you sit down to visualize, ask yourself, do I, is this now become a chore that I have to do to get my manifestation or is this something that feels good and lighthearted to do? If it feels like a chore and it feels like stress and it puts you into more anxiety about not getting your manifestation, then the best thing to do is just drop it for a little while. So let's look at it from this point, guys. If the point is to make yourself feel good, get yourself in a good vibration, get yourself into alignment, then couldn't anything really be a technique? And that's the truth, is that yes, anything could be a technique. So if in that moment you're feeling really down, you're feeling really anxious, then going for a walk is a technique that could help you. Um, you know, just hanging out with your friends or meeting up with someone that you really like or going to a restaurant or just enjoying your life, basically. Don't forget to actually enjoy your life life running all of these techniques then when you're in a good place when you're feeling good and calm your attachment is then lower because you've taken your focus off that one thing and instead put it on yourself now is a time when you can run a technique from a light-hearted way all right, guys. Well, I hope that that helped you. Um, if you like this video, please do me a favor, subscribe down below and feel free to write any comments in the comment box that you'd like to. And if you have any questions or anything that you want me to cover for you guys, I'm here for you. So just uh, write that down below. See you guys in the next video.